Wait, what the hell's withering waves? Wuthering waves. You mean to tell me it wasn't a a spelling error? Yeah, that's the first time I've heard about this game. Hang on a sec. Story-rich open world game with a high degree of freedom. You wake from your slumber as a rover, greeted by an expansive new world filled with novel sights and newfangled tech. Wuthering Waves is currently under development. Oh, okay, so it's too early to even say, to even show anything. But there is gameplay, though. I mean, as far as I'm aware, there's no date here. Right, so yeah, let's go check out the CG trailer then. Their calament arrived without a sign. Ooh, and in English too. Okay, Their so this is just CG, so don't expect much. Without so much as a sigh. Okay, atmosphere. Okay, atmosphere so far, I'm kind of feeling it. Got those Death Stranding vibes. So wait, wait, is this another Strand game? <laughs> I do like the, I do like the character design. At least just for her. Oh God, what is this perspective? Oh God. <laughs> But yeah, it's got some vibes of Death Stranding here. Just a death teeny bit. Will stay buried. Except nothing ever truly dies. Okay. It doesn't seem like it, but I'm interested. I'm definitely a little. I'm intrigued by what the world in uh, what the world uh, encompasses of. It is interesting. I will say that it just uh, just in terms of uh, what I'm seeing so far, the premise is is just that. There's a little bit of gameplay here. Okay, so that's in game. Demonstration purposes does not represent final quality. Okay. Okay, wall running. Nice. There is at least a little bit, there is some movement here. But I'm curious if certain movement options are only exclusive to some characters or is everyone going to do. Oh, got the big rock monster. I mean, it, it, it went by a little too quickly, so there really isn't a lot for me to dissect. But just judging from what I'm seeing, it's there's definitely some... There's definitely a wide variety of traversal options that players can uh, can take. And, and even, a, a and even a, using those movement options to... like in terms of combat, so I'm actually intrigued by it. More so than Tower of Fantasy, I'll say that. Like, I'm I'm more interested in this than I am with uh, with Tower of Fantasy. Although, the character designs, though, the character designs, hang on a sec, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah, okay, you got, okay, you got them. 
I forgot the character. I actually, I genuinely forgot the name of this character, but she was from Senran Kagura. I yeah yeah the name really escapes me somehow, but but I've seen these pupils before. I want to know her. I need to see her full body because so far she's uh kind of doing something for me. And of course, you got to get the cute uh, girl in here. This one though, yeah, I want yeah, I'm I'm interested in her. I genuinely want to see more of her. Yeah, again in-game footage. Well, it's certainly in game. Ooh, nice water effects in there. Sampling. Actually, I. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'll talk about it. Okay, but yes, gameplay, I'm... I'm definitely... Wait, yo, hold up, wait, 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 Oh, so you change... Wait, 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 can you change mid-combo? Can you actually swap characters mid-combo? There's some combo opportunities here, so I'm at... So I am... So yeah, I'm definitely... Into this. I'm yeah, I'm definitely into this. Okay, the trailer is short, but it's definitely giving me a lot, at least a little bit to talk about. Like for one, yeah, water phys uh, yeah, water graphics here, pretty good, pretty good. Not as good as uh, as Sea of Thieves, a uh, water. Uh, water graphics, but it's still, I mean, for for the art style and well, for the tone, for the style and tone is trying to achieve, it's good. It's honestly, it's pretty good. And yeah, open world here, mantling over there. Hey, okay, dude, I can't tell if that's supposed to be, I can't tell if this rock guy is a, a character or if it's a, or if it's something that the main character can transform into. Okay, but then there's this. This is the, I guess, an issue that I do have with uh, with this uh, game. And it's uh, the art style. There's something about this that doesn't feel right. It's, it almost feels flat. When I see this image, I all I can think of is early 7th generation uh, graphics. And, the, and what I mean by that is... Mostly gray, mostly brown palette of colors here. It's mostly just uh, pretty boring. It's, I mean, you, I mean, you know the games I'm talking about: Gears of War, uh, Need for Speed, uh, Need for Speed: The Most Wanted. Basically, the the color color palettes that don't really give much give give much in the way of inspiration. It's not, yeah, I don't feel. I feel nothing looking at this. Now that said, there is more color here compared to compared to the seventh generation, uh, most seventh generation games. But is it really? It, it, I mean, it's so it feels so muted, and I don't really like that. But again, though, this is mostly down to the uh, down to this though. Mostly just seeing this. I, I mean. I, I wonder if we'll be able to change the way this game, well, like the uh, world looks, much like how, much like how we would change uh, certain aspects of uh, of the world when it comes to Genshin Impact. You know, you know that you know that mission in uh, in Surumi, I think Surumi Island, where you uh, where you uh, go from uh, location to location, just trying to uh, just trying to resolve this. Uh, thunderstorm that's going on over there and then once uh, the clouds clear up then you can see nothing but sunshine uh oh like in that particular area i don't remember if it was no it, it wasn't surumi it was some was it surumi 
I know there was an island that we have to go to in in Inazuma where we have to uh, go uh, go to uh, go to like a certain certain areas of the uh, of the uh, of one particular island and turn and essentially just turn off of the uh, just turn off the waterworks just so we just so we can get the uh, island in a habitable state. Anyway, anyway, I'm just I'm just rambling here. I'm, I'm terribly sorry about that. I I, I really I, I really tend to do that sometimes. Okay, but in terms of gameplay, I'm I want to see this. Wait, wait, so hold on, let me just uh, slow this down a little bit, like 0.5 speed. Yeah, here, hold on a second. Right here. Unless that was an editing trick. No, it was an editing trick, all right. Yeah, it seemed like it was trying to switch from character to character, but... Unless I, unless I have to pay attention further, because I know I've seen it somewhere. I swear to God, I have... I did see... Character switching somewhere. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, there it is. The main character just, uh... Performs a move and then it yeah, performs a powerful move and then that would enable the character or characters to switch back to switch it uh, to switch in yeah to swap in and perform a and perform what looks like a tag move. I do wonder though if you can actually switch uh, like just during combat like you know mid mid combo uh, switching you know you know like, you know as, as soon as you're performing a, a combo you you let this. Uh, enemy go into a juggle state and during that juggle state you can uh, switch in between uh, in between the party members like say for example i'm just doing a uh, a one two three combo and and during the two that's when i uh, swap it that's when i swap out the uh one character and then put in another one and then continue a combo as is granted it, it would be kind of broken but it would be very fun to pull off <laughs> i mean it is still fascinating i will say this i mean in terms of world building or at least what what entails, or, or at least what's what's deemed to be a world building. There is at least there is at least a little bit of that, and I can almost see that with the with the CG trailer. Now, again, this is only for demonstrative purposes. It's not exactly representative of the gameplay as we've seen from the other two trailers. But for a trailer like this, it at least sets up a it at least sets up a story that would lead it to intriguing directions. Compared to Tower of Fantasy, I am more interested in seeing more of this. I'm not 100% sold, but it is something that I am rather intrigued by. I can like things other than Genshin Impact, all right? I am, I'm at least capable of doing that. Weathering Waves is confirmed for mobile devices, but does not have a release window. But an, and an international release is not yet confirmed. It's unknown if this game's even going to come out for internationally. But this but this article was written two days ago. Yeah, there's not even anything confirmed yet. But considering that it did have the English uh, English voice acting, I'm assuming it's going to come to it's going to come to uh, to uh, to the to the uh, to NA, or the rest of the world, uh, at some point. I don't know if it's going to be globally like Tower of Fantasy, but there's at least some interest of putting this in in NA. Well, overseas, overseas more like it. Oh, there is there is a trailer, or there there is a website. What? Oh, but in Chinese though. 没有人真正重视过，直至婴儿啼哭渐弱，生命回响断绝。Yes, I understand everything.苍白的祈祷里，人类的呐喊，化作吸引一种的无解之影，守护着为人类拨开绝望之海的阴霾。可无人知晓。<笑> Okay, so it looks like uh, there's nothing to war, and they're trying to rebuild society from the looks of Wow, who the hell is that guy?
，构成了如今的明朝生态。他们立于满目疮痍的荒原之上，一次又一次重铸破碎的未来，哪怕此生化为尘埃。嗯。Okay. Okay. There is. Okay. There's at least uh some level of English. Yeah, because I am absolutely not fluent. Main news. Base information was back in June 23rd, so about a month ago. I imagine we'll find we'll probably find out more later. Uh, the wallpapers. Yeah, it looks like this is just um, concept art. But that said, though, said concept art looks fascinating. I mean, my God, look at that. I I am actually into this. If they can translate this, if they can translate this to the game, just looking at all this, I will say, like, I will be impressed. I will definitely be impressed. Yeah, I do want to remain hopeful. Like, just looking at the just looking at the concept art. It's actually the first time I've heard about this game, like, at all. So. I'm shocked that it took me this long to uh, to find this. The dog be looking at. <laughs>